Republicans will destroy our environment, our rivers, and our clean air. I approve this message. I think America must be strong on all fronts, given the multiple threats that we face today. So by increasing our annual naval shipbuilding rate from 9 to 15 ships, I'll reverse the current hollowing of our Navy. And as president, our Navy will shine as an unchallengeable power on the high seas. How many jobs have Democrats created? Just ask the unemployed. I approve this message. It's my position that we can't continue to have a society with dis Do you really believe that someone can live on a salary that pays $7.20?
First of all, I want to thank you for such a kind invitation. I'm very pleased to be here. I Hello. I just wanted to tell you that the statements you've made during your campaign really made an impact on me. I support your candidacy, and I'm going to do what I can to help. If Americans want jobs, health care, and civil rights, I'm their president. First of all, I want to thank you for such a... Good evening and welcome to the second U.S. presidential debate. The rules here are simple. Both candidates will take turns addressing key issues that I will ask them. Obviously, the time allowed for each candidate will be strictly balanced. We have also implemented... What could be more important for parents than to be able to choose their children's school? It's not fair that only the wealthier students or students who are able to earn With your vote, I will defend your rights. The Second Amendment of our Constitution rightfully established the right of the people to keep and bear arms. First of all, I want to thank you for such a kind invitation. I'm very pleased to be here. I guarantee you that... Hello. I just wanted to tell you that the statements you've made during your campaign really made an impact on me. Are you unemployed? Maybe it's because bosses like the Republican candidate prefer to ship your job overseas. Pro-choice does not mean pro-abortion.
I understand about business. I understand about budgets. I understand what America needs. I approve this message. Good evening, and welcome to the third and final U.S. presidential debate of the 2012 campaign season. The rules here are simple. Both candidates will take turns addressing key issues that I will ask them. Obviously, the time allowed for each candidate will be strictly balanced. We have also implemented a new instant polling system, which will assess the... Gentlemen, let us turn to the current housing crisis in our nation. What should the role of the federal government be? As president, what would you do about the dire housing issues facing American families today? Foreclosures don't just hurt the people losing their homes, they also hurt those trying to... Thank you. Let us return to our other candidate. What are your views regarding this subject? Foreclosures not only hurt the people losing their homes, they also hurt those trying to sell... Thank you. Now, let's address the next issue. No one can deny that health care and social security are two of the nation's greatest challenges, both now and for the future. What is your... America has the greatest technology in the world, and yet much of it has not been applied to health care management. Thank you. Now it's your turn. What are your views on this subject? America has the greatest technology in the world. And Thank you. Now, let's address the next issue. I think everyone agrees on the importance of a good education and how this impacts our nation. Unfortunately, today, the promise of a dream... Very well. Now, it's your turn. A research has shown the great impact of early experiences on a child. Thank you both. We've reached the end of our debate. In closing, we will hear one final statement from... No one, man or woman, legal or under... During decades, remarkable progress was achieved in... In closing, I would like to thank you both for maintaining us. It seems our instant survey system has meanwhile designated a winner. Good night, everyone. North Korea has become an increasing Hello. I already made a small donation to your campaign. Republicans have unleashed a war against women. Do you really believe? Hello again. 
Your campaign is truly impressive, and I'm very... If Americans want jobs, health care, and civil rights, I'm their president. Well, I think America must be strong on all fronts. Our president's government spending is going to bankrupt America. I'm determined to prevent... We need change to rebuild the America we love. First of all, I want to thank you for such a kind invitation. Our president's government spending is going to... The Second Amendment of our Constitution right... Republicans don't care about people, they care about profit. First of all, I want to... Hello, I already made a small donation to your campaign, but now I'd like to do more since I'm convinced that you're the person for the job. My friends and colleagues...
You've had the proof. Our current president's socialist policies simply don't work. Do you really believe? Specializing in destabilizing operations has the means. How many jobs have Democrats created? Just ask the unemployed. I'm determined to prevent. How many jobs have Democrats created? Just ask the unemployed. Republicans don't care about people. They care about We need change to rebuild the America we love. It's time to bring back sanity to American politics. High rates of recidivism.
acting with faith to restore America. Well, good evening. Based on our projections regarding various states, we are now in a position to announce the next president of the United States. Coming up next, what you've been waiting for, tonight's election results. We'll now be bringing you live coverage from the campaign headquarters of the next president of the United States to hear their first public speech. My fellow Americans, it's with great emotion that I stand before you now. They said we would never win, and look at where we stand today. It's thanks to your faithfulness, your generosity, and your commitment to our cause that we celebrate this evening. This historical victory belongs to all of us, but most of all, to each and every one of you. My thoughts also go to my family, who have always supported me throughout my career, and particularly in recent weeks, which, as you know, were very trying. I want to tell you, my fellow Americans, how much I am aware of the great responsibilities that I will take on as your next president. The American people have chosen me because of the great vision that I have for our country, and for us, greatness is possible. Thank you once again. God bless you all.